scientists have digitally reconstructed the face of a 330 million year old crocodile like predator that terrorized Earth long before dinosaurs appeared. Crassigerinus scoticus, dubbed tadpole from hell, was a tetrapod, a foreland relative of the first animals to transition from water to land, which lived in what is now Scotland and North America. Scientists have known about the extinct species, Crassigerinus scoticus, for a decade. But because all known fossils of the primordial carnivore are severely crushed, it has been difficult to find out more about it. Now, advances in computed tomography, CT, scanning and 3D visualization have allowed researchers to digitally piece the fragments back together for the first time, revealing more details about the ancient beast. Previous research has shown that C. scoticus was a tetrapod, a foreland animal related to the first creatures to transition from water to land. Tetrapods began appearing on Earth around 400 million years ago, when the earliest tetrapods started evolving from lobe-finned fishes. Unlike its relatives, however, past studies have found C. scoticus was an aquatic animal. This is either because its ancestors returned from land to the water, or because they never made it to land in the first place. Instead, it lived in coal swamps, wetlands which over millions of years would turn into coal stores in what is now Scotland and parts of North America. The new research, carried out by scientists at University College London, shows the animal had huge teeth and powerful jaws. Although its name means thick tadpole, the study shows C. scoticus had a relatively flat body and very short limbs, similar to a crocodile or alligator. In life, Crassigerinus would have been around 2 to 3 meters, 6.5 to 9.8 feet, long, which was quite big for the time, lead study author Laura Poro, a lecturer in cell and developmental biology at University College London, said in a statement. It would probably have behaved in a way similar to modern crocodiles, lurking below the surface of the water and using its powerful bite to grab prey. C. scoticus was also adapted to hunt prey in swampy terrain. The new facial reconstruction shows it had large eyes to see in muddy water, as well as lateral lines, a sensory system that allows animals to detect vibrations in water. Although much more is known about C. scoticus, scientists are still puzzled by a gap near the front of the animal's snout. According to Poro, the gap may indicate that C. scoticus had other senses to help it hunt. It may have had a so-called rostral organ that helped the creature detect electric fields, Poro said. Alternatively, C. scoticus might have had a Jacobson's organ, which is found in animals such as snakes and helps to detect different chemicals. In earlier studies, Poro said, scientists reconstructed C. scoticus with a very tall skull, similar to that of a moray eel. However, when I tried to mimic that shape with the digital surface from CT scans, it just didn't work, Poro explained. There was no chance that an animal with such a wide palate and such a narrow skull roof could have had a head like that. The new research, published May 2 in the Journal of Vertebrate Paleontology, shows the animal would have had a skull similar in shape to a modern crocodile's. To reconstruct what the animal looked like, the team used CT scans from four separate specimens and pieced the broken fossils together to reveal its face. Once we had identified all of the bones, it was a bit like a 3D jigsaw puzzle, Poro said. I normally start with the remains of the brain case, because that's going to be the core of the skull and then assemble the palette around it. The team now plans to carry out biomechanical simulations to test out their ideas about C. scoticus and its capabilities.